Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Okay, lots of you have had issues finding uh, legal images uh, to use with Canvas. Alright, so up here you see um, I have clip art and SVG places and all of these. And all of these are on our group um, in the SVG albums. Okay, and then here um, I am a member. Um, it was Dollar Photo Club, um, and then they shut down April 15th and transferred all of our images over to Adobe Stock, um, which is normally really expensive. But oops, I just changed this. Um, <clears throat> but because I belong to Dollar Photo Club, it's not that expensive anymore. Um, so you can do that. Or here, this is Vecteezy. Um, I am a, uh, member here, uh, as soon as this decides to load, okay, this is a place where you can get legal clip art. A lot of people will do Google searches and pull up an image and try to trace it off of that. I do not recommend that because a lot of times what you can do is you can just be lifting somebody else's, um, art that they've made and that's really it's one it's not legal to just don't do it it's not nice you wouldn't want somebody stealing your stuff okay so here's um just a whole bunch of things you can type in search terms here is the website um like i said i am a paying member here P when you pay you're entitled to use these for lots of other different things um there's another one where is it I think it's all the way down here let me see oh that's for embroidery but you see all of these different ones um, that you can come in here it, there's just a ton of them um, and when you do that then you download them when you come to canvas you click on the leaf in the water and that brings up image tracing then you choose a file so let's go grab us a file. Let me see. Where's my where's my graphics? Let's choose a little dog paw. Okay. So let's click. Okay. So there it is. And it's all in single pieces. So let's click it. And instead of dragging it, we'll just do it this way. Let me get a little bigger. There we go. So we can see what we're doing. Okay, so in order to get it to go all in one, what I did was I came here to edit and I hit group. You can ungroup it if you want to rearrange something in here. Okay. But now I'm done and I want to save it. Well, come over here and name it. Then you click download. I do have the 650. So here is the wireless. I don't use it. I'm going to click download to the PC. Now don't get confused. That doesn't mean it's going to go save on your computer. Here's my stick, and I find that over here. I name my sticks, okay? And I'm going to show you. I'm going to unplug it if you're having a hard time figuring out where yours is at. So unplug it, plug it back in, see what pops up. Okay, I just noticed that that popped up. Oh, crap, here comes all of my security stuff. Okay, if you can't find it that way, come to this PC click on it well here's my little tiny SD card I know it's not an SD card here's the stick okay and let me show you how to rename this we're kind of capturing all kinds of videos at once I come over here and I've just clicked on it the one time I'm going to right click on it and that brings up the right click options menu right here it says rename so I'm gonna type in Jen's stick 
hit enter. And now it's my stick. Okay. All right. So here we are over here. Let's just go back in case I've, I've lost some of you. We click on this. And it brings up Gen Stick. Okay. So now I'm going to click Save. And that saves it directly to my stick. All right. And if I want to test it, down here I have my little folder. Okay, and what this is, it's my file explorer. What it does is it brings up all of the folders and files that I have on my computer. Okay, I'm going to take a look over here and I'm going to pop open my stick and I'm going to look for it. Okay, right here is my dog paw. And by the way, when you go to save on your stick, like I do embroidery too, I can have my embroidery working files and my PEZ files. I can save all of those on my stick. It does not affect um, your scan and cut at all. It'll, it'll read these files just fine. The only time it will is when you're doing an update. And your update stick has to be completely empty minus the update because what happens is, you're commanding your um, scan and cut to read everything that is on the stick. <laughs> so if you have all of these files plus your update on the stick, it's going to read all of these FCM files and the SVG and the update and be like, hold on, what's going on here? I, I can't, I'm trying to load some files and an update oh that's it i'm done and it just kind of shuts down on you and sits there like i'm not doing anything because i'm mad that's why it cannot read all of these plus your updates so you have to clear all these off of there okay all right so we know it's there if you want to test it to make sure it's going to work before you get to um your scan and cut so you're not running back and forth just pull it back into here so we can delete this we're gonna click the SVG icon okay because now it's an FCM so let's pop our stick open click on our dog paw and click OK and let's see what it does oh there it is perfect size and everything so we know it worked so that's how you do it alright so find some legal image out on a legal page like this okay and sometimes they will come zipped and I'll show you how to handle that and then just click the leaf in the water that's the image tracing and pull it on in here but let's go find one that's not unzipped and let's unzip it I think I have a couple of them let's see Adobe Dollar Photo Club. Here we go. Oh, of course, I already unzipped all of them. Sometimes it's hard finding an image that I don't... There might be one in here. Let me try it this way. I try to unzip all of my folders that I know I'm going to use. Okay, here we go. Let's do the... Let's do the headdress. Oh, but you know what? I can't because that's an AI. I don't think I have any zipped images. No, I don't. So I can't show you how to unzip an image. No. Nope. But if you ever do, I'll show you this. If you ever do have an image that is zipped, and it's very rare, but I'll show you how to unzip it. Okay. You're going to, <clears throat> I have a Windows 10 system. You're going to, <clears throat> excuse me left click once to highlight it then right click once and that will bring up this 
right click options menu I have 7-Zip and WinRAR but right here is what is already inbuilt to the Windows system every Windows computer comes with this extract all okay you can just click that and this comes up it will extract to this folder named this you can change the name if you want to and then click extract and it will go about extracting all of these files to um, the file folder that you just named okay so that's how you do it. All right. Um, if you guys have any questions on how to do any of this, you can find us over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Um, we're there to answer any questions you have because we really want you to be able to use your Scan and Cut without any stress or anything like that. All right, guys. Thanks a lot.